Hey, hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sagar Pajapati and in this video I will be talking about accumulator in Apache Spark. Okay, so I will be performing a, a, a program, okay, and with the help of that I will be show you, showing you what is accumulator and where I can use and where we should use this uh, concept. Cool. So before that I would like to introduce my channel Geek Coders. Here I upload videos on Databricks, Databricks, SQL, PySpark and so on. So I have created this playlist called Databricks and PySpark. Here you can see till now I have uploaded around 55 videos and which is based on Databricks and PySpark and in the last video I have explained you about the broadcast variable which is a part of this accumulator variable also. Right, and even though uh, I I upload blogs also, I write blogs also on my website called geekcoders.co.in and here you can see I have it in the blog on the broadcast variable and the same I will be uploading, I will be writing blog on accumulator also. Cool, you, you can see like I have explained each and every step and you can see, you, you can find out my code also over here and if you want to copy this, you can just click on this copy option and paste it in your uh, system, you know, while while practicing. Cool. So chalo, let's get started for today's video. Okay, so first we will see what is accumulator, right? So the PySpark accumulator is a shared variable. Cool. Broadcast also is a shared variable that is used with RDDs and data frames to perform sum and counter operations similar to MapReduce counter. So we should we should do a aggregation function with the help of accumulators. Okay, not functions. I can say uh, a aggregation operations we should do. These variables are shared by all executors to update and add information through aggregation or computative operations. Cool. Accumulator are write only and initialize once variable where only tasks that are running on worker are allowed to update and update from the workers get propagated automatically to the driver program. But only the driver program is allowed to access the accumulator variable using the value property. No, we will we will understand what is this, right? So before that, let's understand what is broadcast variable. Broadcast variable is a shared variable which is only read, read only by worker. Only by worker, okay. And accumulator variables are read by driver and write by, not write by, I can, I, I, I should write here, update by workers, okay. Now accumulator variable should be, should be used only in actions, not in transformation. Okay, and if worker node is filled in between in transformation value can be duplicated, but in action it will not get duplicated, you know, is Spark handles it internally. So let's see, you know, what I am saying, what does it mean? So for that, what I'll do, I'll just create a, a dummy data set. So for that, let me write here data. I will be adding here three rows. Cool. So let's say uh, first is name and second one is the age. So let's say my age is 20 and here the second person called Alex and whose age is 30. And then there's one more person called David and his age is uh, 45. And let me make it 31. Cool. Okay. Now here let me write a schema also. So first, na first is its name which is in string format and second one is the ID not id sorry this is the age and which is in an integer format cool and just to make a data frame let me write here df is equal to df is equal to spark dot create data frame and here let me write data comma schema and then this okay schema spelling is wrong cool now if I do here df dot show then you can see we have this data present. Okay, now I want to create first I want to initialize a variable. Okay, initialize or declare we can say. So how I can do? So let's say, uh, okay, what I need to do first. See, you can see this is the name and this is this is the name and this is the age column, right? So I want to calculate the persons who's having age more than 30. You can see here we have Alex and David they, whose age are greater than greater than 30. Correct. So I need to calculate that. 
so for that what i can do i can make a one variable let's say count underscore age okay and let me write here sc dot accumulator so i we need to call this function accumulator and uh, here initialize the variable since it is an integer value so i am putting here uh, uh, integer value zero okay and now in the after that let me write count underscore age sc okay Now if I run this, then you can see we have this accumulator and id is equal to 2, value is equal to 0. Cool. Hmm. Okay. Uh, cool. Now what I'll do, I'll, okay. T till now we have done. So see, in order to check, uh, in order to check uh, the column age one by one, I'll need to iterate it, right? I'll need to iterate it. So what I will do, I will create a function on top of that and I can, you know, I can append the variable. I, I can increase the variable by one if I found 31. I mean, I mean if I found, uh, uh, if I found the values greater than 30. Cool. So let me create a function. So let me write here def, what? Let's say add age, something like that. No, calculate age, cal age cool and here let me just pass something called age and uh, I'll write here if age dot capital age so give me another let let me give another name so I'll give here row okay so row dot age is greater than what 30 then what I will do I'll need to update this variable by, by one, right? So I write here counter underscore age dot add with the help of add function, I can add a value. So I, I, I need to increment it by one. Cool, else I do not need to do anything. Cool. So here I, I write df dot for each. So with the help of for each function, I can do that. And here I can uh, I can write here lambda lambda x okay. Now here I I will I will call this function call underscore age okay. And one by one I will pass one by one I will pass x right x x okay. Cool. Now let me just run this. So it is throwing an error, same name, cal age is not defined. Okay, let me run this cal underscore age function. And now let me just call this function. Now you can see it got up, uh, it, it, it got uh, completed. And now if I, if I just, you know, if I just uh, calculate or you can say, uh, if, if I just write, try to print the value of count underscore age, then you can say the value is two. Cool. You can also get the value with the help of value function. You can say we have the same thing, right? Now, see, uh, I told you that, you know, I told you that this value, uh, this accumulator can be accessible or can be read by driver only. Okay, so since our program uh, I mean, our job is in the same session, and if I try to run this uh, this uh, uh, this command again, then you can see our variable will be update will uh, will uh, got updated. Cool. So many times we we run this, it 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 will get updated each time because it is in a session, right? So you do not need. I mean, I mean, you have to make sure that you should not run it unnecessary. Otherwise, your variable your variable will be will be uh, updated every time right so if you want to you know start from the start start from the beginning then you just go to here and detach and attach your cluster because now what happens your uh, i can say a driver memory has been released okay or, or i mean the, the the session changed right so if you if you run this again then you can say if you run this again the whole thing then you will not get the variable will not get updated you can see the two the value should be two okay let me do it again i guess i did some mistake 
Okay, see, I have attached it, right? Now if I call this function again, okay, df is not defined, okay, cool. So yeah, I was doing some mistake. So I hope like you, your your idea is, I mean, you you, you got this, why we need to do, uh, why we need to do, use accumulator, okay? So whenever a data set is very large, you do not need to, and you are thinking like, why every time a worker or driver node, you know, uh, will, will, will work on it. So it's better to use this accumulator, but you have to use in, in actions only, not in a transformation. Otherwise, you know, maybe you will get a duplicacy, duplicate data in some, in some, in some cases so yeah i hope you have understood the concept if you do do like and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited and we will meet you in the next lecture thank you bye bye